video we're going to make a mix and match block there are four blocks in our mix and match set the flower block is the first block in our series it's really simple our blocks will all measure 13 by 12 inches unfinished okay so if you have a bunch of scraps laying around and you want to make a really cute spring quilt let's get started so here is our layout and cutting guide for our flower block. As you can see, all of the pieces are labeled with a letter. And then over there on the side, you can see what size fabrics you need to cut for your flower block. Okay, so I have all of my fabrics for my block cut out. On one of my boards, I have my leaf units. And then on the other board, I have all of my fabrics cut for my flower and the petals. So this is our diagram of how to complete our leaf units. As you can see, you'll have a green fabric or whatever print you want. You'll snowball two of those corners and then you will sew D to the side and then A to the top and that will make your leaf unit. Now with the leaves, you'll have to make two facing one direction and two facing the other direction, okay? So it's a total of four. So once you have your leaf snowballed, two going each direction, you'll sew the side fabric on and then the top fabric. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is work on our flower petals and the center of our flower. So H is the center of our flower. We'll snowball H four times with F. Then G and E are our petals. And we will snowball those four pieces with F two times. Okay, so now that we have our four petal blocks made, the center of our flower, and our four leaf unit blocks. Now we can lay them all out on our board, put them in order, and we, what we're going to do next is sew them together in rows, okay? Alright, so now we have our flower block made. All we're going to do now is add a one and a half inch border to the sides and to the top and the bottom. So let's do that now. Okay guys, so as you can see, this flower block is really simple to make. You can make it as scrappy as you want. I used some leftover fat quarters and some scraps and then background fabric. So our next block is going to be the flower stem and the leaves. Okay, so that would be block two in our series. There's going to be four blocks in our series. The, after that, we have the bumblebee and the bird. 
So you can mix and match how you want to put these in a quilt, a table runner, a pillow, whatever your heart desires. They're all the same size block, 12 by 13 inches. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video today and I'll see you in the next one. I want to thank you for watching. And don't forget, you can get these free patterns at tildasworld.com. All right. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe to Grandma's channel. Like and subscribe to Grandma's channel.